Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. We thought we'd have the day off today, but no, couldn't let this one slide. <laughs> Newcastle Fans TV. Yeah, hello everyone. Hope you're doing well on this cold winter. It is winter now, isn't it? But let's take, let's let's be serious. Um, but we love it, and it's incredibly rare. Not just when the manager plays it down, but when your owners come out and say it, that's a lie. And that's what happened. There's been a lot of speculation with Michael Emanello, and we've kind of stayed away from making any official video saying he's getting an appointment or he's on his way or anything like that because it's speculation. And if people want to put stories out there in newspapers, people want to put videos up on YouTube saying it's a done deal, well, you're looking rather stupid now because our owners, me and dad, has actually came out on Twitter today and say it's a lie. We've never approached Michael Eminello. You can see the tweet there. Absolutely wonderful. It's incredibly rare. And what I like about it, and I'm sure you as well as well, is it's clarification. It's speaking directly with the fans because we'll see it. And calling out absolute lies. Now, whatever Matt Law, who has got a couple of stories wrong with Newcastle in the past, I haven't clicked on his article. I'm not giving him the ad revenue for that. Not when it's lies. Especially when our owners come out publicly denying it. Um, saying that Michael Emanello turned down Newcastle. I'm not even clicking on it, so please don't. And for, uh, for me, I'd have to come out and say, no, we haven't even approached him. He wasn't even offered the job. Goes to tell you. I think I'd rather believe my owners... Then Matt Law, who, who's who got one or two things wrong with Newcastle in the past to try and get clicks. No, thank you. And also, in the future, if anything was to happen, like speculation over a player or um, a manager or whatever in the future, we know that we get, we might get straight answers now from Amanda or Mia Dad or the PIF or the Ruben, Ruben Brothers, or Jamie Ruben, sorry. But um, great to see. Shut them down, saying... So, absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. More of that, please. So it goes to say what's going to happen with the sporting director slash football. Director of football, sorry. Are we actually going to get one? And I think it's take the time. that We're in no mad rush. I don't feel I think Eddie Howe will have his own transfer targets. He'll be looking at that team thinking, I need to improve here, I need to improve there. And I think Eddie Howe will, will have a strong say, even if there wasn't any appointed by January. So and we know that January is going to be a massive month. With us as well, um, with Newcastle, because we're going to be getting rid of a few players, or they're not going to be registered in the 25-man squad if they don't get a move. And we know that we're going to be bringing players in. But we've also got a second piece of news, which we have talked about on the channel a couple of times. I talked to Liam outside St James's Park. I talked with the lads the other day about will the sporting heroes come back? Our legends of former years. So you know, you like say Les Ferdinand, your David Ginlas, who's in I'm a celebrity at the minute. Team Ginola. Um, Warren Barton who speaks well of Newcastle the big man Alan Shearer and so on but Mickey Quinn who has tweeted out saying that the club have actually reached out to him directly saying that they want to start doing stuff with former legends of the club for me I love that I absolutely fucking love that love that with a passion because you see it across all other Premier League sides ambassador roles guests of honours and what have you dinner speeches and have nothing to do with our club but you see it with other clubs and they do so i'm looking forward to that i'm excited by that because i want to see our former players acknowledged first of all and um, communication with the club directly because they didn't have that under the previous regime so i'm buzzing for that and that gives me hope that alan Shearer's statue gets moved because let's face it it's on council land we want to move that to onto the stadium and gives us hope that the law will be back so yeah, it's a good piece of news, I think, today. I think it's it's a short video, but we had to get that out the day because me and Dad shut down a fake story and the club uh, looks like they're approaching, well, they're definitely approaching players, ex-players to come back to the club in some form of capacity. But uh, aye, smash that like, everyone. See you later.